Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you this very special homemade coconut milk shampoo. To make this shampoo, first we need to make homemade coconut milk. So I'll be taking some coconut slices. Next I'm going to take the coconut slices and add them to a grinder. Grind them until they're coconut flakes. Or if you have coconut flakes, you can just use that instead and skip this step. I'm going to take approximately one cup of the coconut flakes or shredded coconut. Then I'm going to add approximately two cups of hot water to the shredded coconut. Then I'm going to stir it and cover it, keep it aside for either overnight or a few hours. After a few hours, the coconut flakes have softened, the water has blended in more. So once again, I'm going to stir it one more time and then all, add all the ingredients to a blender and grind it one more time. I'm going to blend for approximately 1-2 to two minutes until it blends in really well. Once it's blended well for a minute or two, I'm going to strain out the coconut flakes this white liquid is a fresh homemade coconut milk that you can use in smoothies and um, coffee, tea, anything. Or you can drink it just like that to replace regular milk. Coconut milk also makes a great natural hair conditioner. You can spray some of it straight onto your hair or you can make a one-to-one -one ratio of coconut milk and water and add it into a spray bottle and spray it on your hair either after a shower or even if it's dry. It gives a great natural shine to your hair. It also detangles hair really well, so especially on little girls, um, it works really well. And also it helps with hair loss and it helps strengthen your hair. Our fresh coconut milk is now ready and we're going to be adding this to our homemade shampoo. To make the shampoo, first I'm going to be needing uh, castile soap. So here I'm taking the 3-in-1 hemp baby unscented. I'm going to take a bottle and pour in approximately 1 cup of this castile soap. So I use Dr. Bronner's castile soap because it's the purest and it's one of my favorites but you can use any brand you like. Next, I'm going to take equal amount, which is one cup of the freshly made coconut milk and add that to the bottle. Or if you wish, you can just use the canned coconut milk instead. I just chose to go all natural and make my own coconut milk and use that instead. The next ingredient is honey. I'm going to add approximately one fourth cup of honey to the bottle. Now I'm going to add in some sweet almond oil. I will take approximately one tablespoon of the oil and add it to the bottle. But you can use any other oil that you like, maybe jojoba or argan oil, um, even olive oil or coconut oil, any, any one that you like. Now I'm going to put the cap on and shake it really well, but as you can see, the honey on the bottom is really hard to mix in. Um, I think it's better you just pour all the ingredients into a bowl, mix it really well, and then pour it into a bottle. Remember to store this in the fridge since it's made from freshly made coconut milk. This is such a great natural shampoo. I use it on my kids as well and it lasts a really long time. Now the leftover coconut flakes, I'll be using that to make natural face and body scrub it's very simple to make all i did is i took the flakes i added in one tablespoon of coconut oil i mixed it in really well and remember you have to keep this in the fridge also since it came in contact with water this is such a great natural exfoliant it's very delicate it's a very gentle exfoliant and it won't cause any minor cuts as any other um, scrubs would do the best part is you can use it every single day 
and it won't damage your skin in fact i use it as a face cleanser i don't even use soap i use this i use it on wet skin rub it in circular motions and then wash off my face with, with warm water and then i just use a clean paper towel and uh, wipe my face off with that and if you have uh, waterproof makeup on or any other stubborn makeup on this works like a charm try it please Thank you so very much for watching my videos. I really hope you like it. Uh, please do remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Till then, goodbye.